guys, it's Bree with your As Bree segment at Concierge XO. So I just kind of wanted to do a little video in regards to processes that can be implemented to help people feel good. I'm actually doing a blog series pretty much speaking on these processes that can be implemented to help you feel good. So if you have not subscribed to my blog yet, you can find me at www.conciergexo.com and there is an email subscription link or just bookmark it and tune in. Okay, and so basically I have um, just scrolling through my social platforms and social media, my groups and forums. I just noticed a common theme amongst people. And basically what the theme that I noticed is that um, not a lot of people are feeling good these days emotionally. Uh, there is a common discord that are going, that is happening amongst individuals. And so I wanted to just kind of take this time um, to pretty much give you some processes that can be implemented and utilized to help get folks back on track with feeling good. Okay, so uh, first, first and foremost, let's just go ahead and keep it real. Uh, it's important to kind of realize that feeling good is a choice. It's really your choice and you have the choice to want to feel good and you have the choice to not want to feel good, okay? Truth be told, as far as I'm concerned, choices are not necessarily good or bad. Choices are really just decisions that you make that render results. They're either going to render a desired result or an undesired result. If you find that you're making choices or decisions and you're getting undesired results, it's not to say that you're making bad choices per se. Um, really, just you really just need to go back and tweak or make you know make some adjustments to be able to render you the result that you're going to necessarily desire. So, I kind of just want to put that out there. And basically, if you're one of those type of people that just don't want to necessarily feel good, you don't really care about how you feel, then this video may not be for you. This web series just may not be your thing, okay? <laughs> and it's all good. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm a goofball. I love to have fun. I love to feel good and I love to make people feel good. So go with the flow. All right. Um, however, if it's important for you to feel good, if your feelings are important to you, understanding your emotional guidance system and its indications, then this this is a, you are essentially the person that this video is for okay similarly to what we discussed in our um how to create wealth fast um by mastering your greatest asset teleshop we're pretty much it's pretty much talking about feelings the same exact way okay feelings basically is a is a vibration that you should be uh, really acquainted with all right. Understanding how to utilize your guiding system has a lot to do with understanding your feelings and um, their meanings and indications. Okay. So um, you you kind of want to be able to tune in to what you're feeling at any given time in any different given moment to ascertain exactly what these feelings are telling you and where your higher self is actually guiding you through your emotional guidance system, okay? So you you must feel that you are already what you desire to be. If you're walking around and let's say, for instance, uh, there's a lot of things going on in your experience that is just getting you frustrated or not making you happy, then... Um, you, you kind of want to speak life into these situations and pretty much see these situations as you would already desire to have them, okay? Um, and, and pretty much really just persist in that well-being or those good feeling thoughts. Don't give into the talk about gossip or about a bad relationship or um, things that are not going right in your life or... Um, or doing any of that stuff, 
I can I can assure you it's very very counterproductive the more you wallow about the things that are not going right in your experience by the laws of the universe you pretty much perpetuate the negative events happening so instead speak and feel about the things happening in your experience the way that you would desire them to be if you're not feeling good in these experiences then that's your guiding system indicating to you that you are focusing, focused, or talking, or thinking in a direction that does not benefit you or expand you. That's pretty much what it is. It's like having an argument with someone and kind of sitting back and saying, okay, why am I arguing? Why am I upset? There were some indications going on already. That you were feeling that your guidance system was saying, uh, please don't get involved in this conversation. This has nothing to do with you. Remain in alignment. A part of being in alignment is selfishness. So, uh, yeah, don't worry about that stuff. But for some reason, we were programmed and, and have been exercising uh, choices and exercising how to go about situations in the wrong way. Um, and, and, and when I say wrong, I mean in a way that wasn't that is not productive or beneficial to our our state of being. So it's like going into a danger zone. You usually can feel that something is off or that you're in danger um, through your indications in your guidance system. Your emotions or your feelings they they guide you and they'll trigger something will trigger it to let you know that you probably need to get out of dodge as soon as possible. So, identify and tune in with that and make the choice to feel good. A few things that I know um, that I use, that I utilize in my own personal experience that I also recommend to uh, a few of my clients that can instantly charge you up and get you feeling good are, um, one is laughing. People... Mention me all the time, Bree. I'm feeling low again. I was flying high when I spoke with you, but now I got all these things going on in my life and they're just dragging me. What do I do? Laughing is kind of going to be one of your very, very, very easiest things to do that it can bloop, raise your vibration instantly. Um, if you can't find anything to laugh about, trust me, I can give you a lot. Ricky Smiley, listen, <laughs> hilarious. Go look at some of Ricky Smiley's old videos with Bernice Jenkins and laugh your heart out. I promise you, he will make you laugh. Um, find funny videos. Laugh at yourself. Um, these are just a few things as far as laughing goes to get your mood feeling really, really good and get you vibrating super duper high and back on your path the way you intended to be when you set out to come out and play today. Okay. Movement is another one. Long walks is awesome. One of the things that me and my children like to do, um, I have uh, two two daughters. One is eleven, and the other one is seventeen, and they still seventeen, and they still do these things with me. They are very, very, very much into this stuff, and they love it. So one of the things that we do is um, we spin around in circles. So we'll grab each other like we used to do back when we were younger and just whee, spin around in circles until everybody gets super dizzy and just fall on the floor. And I kid you not, this thing is one of the, the it's so simple, and it probably sounds so stupid. You're probably like, oh, no, what is Brie talking about? But I kid you not. This thing raises your vibration so instantly. First of all, it's silly as heck. So, I think just the dizziness and falling over the floor because it's so silly. It's just enough to get you laughing and having fun and playful in no time. Plus, you know, it, it's good to do it with kids. If you have children, your children will absolutely love this. So, grab them up and spin them around. They might not want to stop, but, you know, that's the idea. The idea is to keep going until you're feeling really, really good. <laughs> so... So go for it. Um, another thing is actually spending time in nature. Spending time in nature. I absolutely love nature. So I might be biased when it comes to spending time outside in the sun and, and in the grass and picnics. Look, I may be biased when it comes to these things. I absolutely adore nature. I'm a nature girl. I love hiking. I love being out in the woods. I love swimming. I love the ocean. I love walking barefoot in the grass. I love talking to the trees. I love touching the trees. I mean, I am a nature fanatic. Um, really, very rarely you'll find me killing a lizard or an ant or anything. Like, I, 
I, I literally will usher them <laughs> where they need to go as long as they're not invading my my org space uh, so spending time in nature is always a wonderful thing um, sitting in the trees walking barefoot I know some of us were raised I am Haitian American mixed with Cuban so I was raised with a lot of different <laughs> programming <laughs> you name it American programming I got the Haitian program I got the Dominican program I mean the, the, the Cuban look I'm, I'm calling all kind of nationalities I got the Cuban program it's a lot so one of the things we would always hear is don't walk barefooted it'll make your feet big or don't walk barefooted it's some silliness you know and truth be told as I got older I realized that a lot of that stuff <laughs> was uh, BS yeah, I'll say it. It was BS. And truly, uh, walking barefoot on the concrete that's super hot or walking on the grass has so many different health benefits in it. You can Google this stuff. It's the bomb. Not to mention, when you think about um, ancients and gurus and uh, just, the yogi, just the ancient yogis and the ancients that really weren't tuned with who they were, you find a lot of them walking on hot coal, walking on fire, always barefoot. They wear limited amount of clothing. A lot of people don't wear deodorant. And sometimes you can visit these cultures and say, oh my God, what's wrong with these people? Like, oh my God, you don't wear deodorant, da, 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 da. And it's not anything to condemn at all. As a matter of fact, it's less attachment to things that build up resistance. So, um, walking barefoot, a lot of people are against it. Oh, I mean, I'm one of the cleanest people that I know. So, a lot of people are against it. Oh, it makes your feet dirty. It does this, it does that. Listen, I will lift my feet up to show you right now, but that will not. That probably won't be professional, but... It, it just has great, 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 great benefits. Just like gardening. Gardening has wonderful benefits. So if you have a green thumb, get out there in nature. Pluck some, some weeds, some trees. Prune some stuff. Plant some stuff. You will be surprised how great you will feel. Another thing to do that a lot of people never, ever, ever think about doing is reveling in your, the perfection of your garden system. When I run into a situation and I'm out and about and I'm having a wonderful day and some car cuts me off, that usually doesn't bother me. So let me think of something that, that, that could really hurt you. Like if I'm going on in a store. The other day um, I'm doing homecoming shopping from, with my daughter because their homecoming is coming up. She's a senior in high school. And oh my God, I kid you not, we were out shopping. My poor husband and my poor 11 year old. Me and and Sai, we can go. <laughs> but the hubby and Trinity, they really not so much. They they don't want to be out all day long shopping. They they like to break it up into you know cues. So we were out. I think literally at least seven hours just went from mall to mall to mall to mall <laughs> walking i mean we left the house that day like 11 morning and we didn't return until about 7 p.m and um sometimes after being out so long you can walk into a situation or walk into a store or, or just encounter people that are just frustrated or livid or upset about whatever's going on and instead of you, and when you notice that it's gotten you upset, upset, instead of people saying, well, you know what, I'm going to revel in my guidance system. This thing is really showing me that this doesn't feel good to me. And walking into this situation where this person was already feeling a certain kind of way, I could have actually done this, that, or the third, but I stayed and I now uh, have encumbered this this feeling and emotion and attitude and, and now it don't necessarily have me feeling so good. Um, usually in those times I revel in my guiding system. I revel with how on point it is. Like, oh shoot. Like, I I, I don't feel good about this. <laughs> Certain things me and my husband can talk about. I say, babe, this don't feel this conversation is not making me feel good right now. I have a lot of resistance up about this, so let's table this discussion for another day. I send it to me in an email. We read about it. <laughs> Something like that. And really that's just me reveling in the perfection of my guidance system, knowing that it's on point. 
and it's showing me these things that I may be focusing on, like someone having an attitude that really it doesn't benefit me. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, that's probably me on my worst day. And so why go about these things in such a hard way on myself when I can actually revel in it, make the adjustment, and continue on the way that I set out. So um, these are just a few processes. I'm going to go in depth and, and re go really in depth into these processes. I'm also creating a, tele a tele workshop for anyone who would like to join basically about uh, raising your vibration, asking, believing that you've already received it, and then and actually being in a state of allowance to see the thing that you desire manifest. So stay tuned for that. But the reason why it's important to feel good, let's identify that. Because people just say, feel good, feel good, but why? Why is that important? The reason why is, first of all, we've been programmed to look at things from the worst case scenario for the most part. Where most people are complaining about laundry, cleaning house, I have to wash a dish. Instead of looking at it like, oh, okay, well, we have laundry. That means clean clothes for the family. Oh, there's dishes in the sink to wash. Oh, okay, well, that means that we have food to eat and things like that. So um, since we've been programmed to look at things in a, in a very negative way, it's important to feel good simply because what you're doing is you're learning how to match your vibration of where you are to that which you desire. So, for instance, if your car has broke down on you, that automatically creates a desire for a new car, right? So, so think about it. When you think about having a new car, let's say you, you want that BMW X6 and, oh my God, it's so freaking beautiful. It's got red, you know, the, the paint is red. It's got camel guts inside. It's got marble dashboard, uh, center panel, sunroof. Oh my God, the handle on this thing is phenomenal like you know how do you feel about that new car it's probably you probably feel enthusiastic some type of expectancy freedom happiness right now now think about how you feel when you think about the car that's broke down on you are the feelings the same when you think about the car that broke down? Or are you thinking like, damn, this car don't put me down. I'm going to get where I need to go. i got to go to work. i got to get the kids here, get there, blah, blah, blah. Life is just always, is it just one thing after another, blah, blah, blah. How are you feeling about that? And the reason why that's important to find out is because if you're feeling horrible about the fact that the car broke down and now you're stranded and got to depend on Joe Blow to get you where you need to go and you know how they want gas and all this other car, if that's not making you feel good, then how is it that you're going to match the vibration of something that does make you feel good, like that new car? So if you actually successfully can tune in and verify what what your feelings is about this, you'll realize that you feel one way about a car and then you feel another way about a car. It doesn't matter that they're two separate vehicles. It's the fact that you feel one way about a car and another way about a car. So because your vibration doesn't necessarily match, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to actually get to the point where you can fully manifest this thing in the way that we teach. In the in the way that we teach um, based on your vibration level. So it's basically just tapping in. If you don't feel the same, if, if those feelings, when you think about the broke down car not, uh, or when you think about the new car, they're not the same, then... Um, how can you expect to match the vibration of that which you desire if the feelings are totally separate? And that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about in this series, all right? So make the adjustment, strive to feel good. That is the message. And until next time, again, I'm Bree, just a fun-loving being that takes an interest in various things. Send me your emails with your comments and questions or plug them in the comment section. Again, actually, it's asbreelayton at gmail.com or conciergexo at gmail.com. Also, feel free to look in the box below for... Um, ways to find me on my other social media platforms. And so, 
As we go into the silence, I just want to again thank you for joining me today as I ramble off about all things that I love. And uh, until next time.